All right, speaking of the Cardinals, Nolan Arenado continues to make the case for MVP, but not to be outdone by Bryce Harper. Hannah, this is for you, who homered in his last three games. So, friends, we'll start with you, Keith. Who's your front runner now for the NL MVP? Well, I have to stick with the guy that I put out on this show in the beginning, Nolan Arenado. I mean, we're talking a lot about You're Yachty by your and man. I like Wainwright. That. Of course, I mean, I'd love to be correct. I mean, Har Harper is the MVP right now and was – the MVP last year, but Arenado has been great. And I just said, we're talking about Wayno, we're talking about Yachty, we're talking about Pujols, but you got guys like Arenado who's helping really lead the way with, with these older cats, so yeah. Oh, so you're going with the actual definition of what an MVP is, because you have to get into the semantics of it, right? Oh, you guys are, you're missing the obvious, Manny Machado. Thank How you. did he not come well, up? By the way, he's we a know plus Machado's up there. He's a plus 350 right now. He's, Arenado's okay. a plus 500, Soto's plus 750, and then Harper, 1,000. Here's the thing with Harper. I, I don't feel great about their plan to have him <laughs> continue to de age but while he's, he's got a partially torn. What is he got partially torn? I think it's a UCL. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I also just think, like, realistically, even if that works, I, I don't know that he's going to ever play, or not, sorry, not ever, this year going to play a great defense again. And so at some point, so for as impressive as what he's doing now, given the injury and as beneficial as it is to hit that many home runs. I just think he's going to, like, over the course of a long season, guys who are contributing on defense are going to mm -hmm. outpace him. All right, I got to talk about Manny Machado for a little bit. Yeah. Currently leads the NL in batting average, on-base percentage, not slugging, but he does lead in OPS. And I thought this was really interesting. So 538 had an article out about the percentage of war on a playoff-bound team Ooh. being contributed by a single player. That's something we don't think about a lot. What can, like, one guy bring to the table? And no one is bringing more to the table in terms of like percentage of their team's overall war, then Manny Machado is on his, on pace for a historic 34% of all war created by San Diego players, which is particularly wow, that's interesting massive. because they were bad last year. They underperformed. This year, they're great. They're in first again. It looks like it's going to be a three, a true three-team race, and they're doing that without Tatis Jr. Right. So we're like, I know we're going to end up looking at the stats at the end of the season, and it's going to come down to analytics, but like the storyline of Machado just carrying this team that hasn't quite put it together yet, like to take them from fun and exciting in 2020, super disappointing crash in 2021, oh, and then to bring them back into that NL West race single-handedly, that's an MVP. That's a true leader, and that's like such a great way to quantify it, but there are so many intangibles that he brings to the table, Keith. Manny being Manny, I think we forget how long Manny Machado has been in the league. So when we see him doing these things, it's just like that's that's what he does. No, he's doing that, and like you said, he's carrying this team while Tatis isn't there. He had a hot start. If he can sustain it, he's obviously up there for the NL MVP. Yeah, he has to be. And you know what I love about this is that these guys are going to be facing each other. We're going to see Machado against Harper in the upcoming series. By the way, 15 of the Padres' next 21 games are going to be against teams currently in playoff position. So this is going to be a tough test. I'm going to drive to Philly on Wednesday. You are. Today to see that game. Yes. Look for it. We'll talk about it next week. I'm going to do a story on – I'm going to preview it right now so that way I have to actually do it. I'm going to do something on – you, yeah, you have to pay it and off. And Machado right. and the fact that they've sort of flown under the radar since they signed those massive deals, despite the fact Whoa. that they're continuing similar to deals. produce. Yep. Exactly. Very similar. They, they were so famous in that offseason. They signed these monster contracts, those kind of things that often looks like they didn't, they weren't a great idea and they didn't pan out. Those contracts look great. They're panning out for yeah, They were high picks in that performing. 2010 draft, so their exactly. names have always they been associated with They were both supposed to be Yankees. Another. Yankees fans told me that we were getting <laughs> All Machado roads lead and back Harper. to the Yankees here for Keith McPherson. You know what? Kate Mack never changed. I love that so much. But you're right. It's very true.